Hi guys, so um, last video that I posted up was about just like how change is good and I was having a really hard time letting go of my old self and embracing this new um, Linda in this like a new state and um, just being married has um, has brought some other stuff up and just insecurities and struggles and I've been kind of faced to embrace the change. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm reading. I just put some notes down just because I didn't want to make this video too long and I just want to get to the point. With my relationship with Brandon, we've been married for almost two years. There's been things that we've that have been like challenges for us in our relationship and at first my mindset was you know I don't know if I want to deal with this even though like I knew like it was a god thing that we met like I was like I didn't bargain for this but my mentality was like oh he'll never change you know and that's how he is and if you're at in a set mind um you're negative you're not gonna embrace any change. That outcome is more likely to happen. But the reason why I wanted to even share that was because lately we've been having a, such a breakthrough in our relationship. He doesn't mind that I share because he's actually been able to put up a fight. Pornography had been um, a pretty big thing in his life and so you know something that I didn't want in our marriage and of course he didn't want either for him he's had to practice the same thing and know that even though these are bad habits that are so hard to break away from knowing that every day is a new day and he needs to reach out to God and know that God has a journey for him and he will transform him and for me the mindset of change is not a project it's a process and so for me i had to really hold on to the truth that when god starts something he finishes it and so i needed to realize that the god is going to change him and it's just a matter of time the same thing with him i've seen you know um him struggle and there's been good days there's been bad days and the great thing is that he is running that race like Jesus has called us to do. It's not about who gets there faster. It's not about finishing the project and okay, I'm, I'm not addicted to pornography because that's gonna be a, a struggle for him. Um, but it's one of those things that he's gonna have to depend on God daily, right? So for me, I had to renew my mind and know that God uses all things, you know, he allows things to happen, even to good people. Know that there is hope in your situation and knowing that it's a journey, whether it is like, I, I know I follow so many people like that are going through like a keto journey and just knowing that it is a process and not a project. Like you can't just t give yourself like, hey, I've done the keto diet for, you know, a month and I haven't really seen results. Well, it's been an accumulation of so many years that have gotten you to where you're at now. So how do you expect this diet to just transform you in like 30 days, right? It's knowing that it's a journey, it's a process and not a project. Changing your mind and knowing that um, setting goals and knowing that eventually you'll get there. Proverbs 4, 23, it says, be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. So if you think very negative about yourself, um, if you think I can't do this, then most likely you're not going to. Like my parents have been praying for me throughout this whole process. Like I've been like really leaning on the Lord and now it's like a no brainer. I'm like literally your thoughts control you because I was such in a negative cloud that I allowed those thoughts to control my mind and to keep me in this negative state. And now I'm so, I'm so happy and I'm in such a peace of mind knowing that God is in control and he is working and is at work. And even though I don't see progress some days, 
he's still working and he still has a plan for him and he has a plan for me. And in my life, that's another big thing. Like in this whole process and journey, like it's been crazy because God's been like really showing me how I'm sinful too. So, and then I'm hard on myself because I'm like, oh my gosh, these are like old habits I used to have and why are they coming back? Why am I? And it's like, we expect to be completely like different when we come to Christ. It happens to some people, but that's not the case all the time. Sometimes it is, like I said, a journey. It's not like an overnight thing, like where you just, you know, you're transformed, like those bad thoughts are not gonna happen. No, they still do. And it's like, that's why it's so important to hold your thoughts captives and not let your thoughts control your life. The mind is the battlefield for sin. So the battle, whether you do good or bad, where you whether you continue or not, um, it's in the mind. Like if you were told all your life that you're a failure, that you are fat, not worthy, whatever it is that you have been told and you believe that, but that's basically who you become. There's so many things that comes into our brain constantly, whether it's TV, other people telling us things, we have to be in control of our mind. So basically it's a battlefield, knowing what to absorb, know what is trash, right? So making sure that we, we don't believe everything that we think of, like thoughts go into your brain, but they're not necessarily true. So the thoughts of lust, the thoughts of jealousy, of envy, all the things that are rooted in sin happen in your thoughts. So that's like the, where it starts. And if you allow it to go, if you don't channel it and throw it into the garbage, like if you have a thought of jealousy and you don't throw it away immediately, that'll grow and grow into sin. So the fact that you have a thought, a sinful thought is not a bad thing. It's just what, what you do with it. Cause we all get tempted. Even Jesus got tempted. Okay. So it's what, you do with it, but the mind is the battlefield for sin. So you have to battle the thoughts. Like you have to battle it with truth. And what is the truth is the word of God. So you have to make sure that you're in the word, that you know what the word is in order to fight those temptations. Um, and then another reminder, Satan, he can't control your life. He can't control you and your actions. He can suggest certain things. You know, I don't know if you've had those like moments where you're praying and all of a sudden you're like, what the, you know, like, where did this come from out of the blue? Well, that's Satan using his strategies to get you thinking and having you diverse your thoughts towards that direction. And if you allow it to, it will control your life. Okay. That simple. So control your thoughts. Be in the word. Know what the word says. Like the Lord says that you are beautiful, that you are loved, that you are righteous with him. So there's nothing that can separate you from him. I mean, it is so beautiful just being in the word. It just uplifts you. It transforms you. Um, and it's really what gives you peace. One of the biggest things that I've learned as a Christian is that God is transforming me. You know, once you receive God, it's you're saved, but it's not like, oh, and then you're not going to sin anymore because you have the Holy Spirit in you and you're not going to sin because you're always going to be doing the right things. Like, no, that doesn't happen. It's a daily struggle. So sometimes I feel like I'm struggling with one thing. Some things, sometimes I'm struggling with another thing. And it's seriously like, I'm like, I was just telling uh, my pastor's wife, I was like, I feel like it never ends. I'm like, I feel like, you know, I conquer this one area in my life and then all of a sudden God reveals me that I'm sinful in another. So it's like, you know, it's a process. It's a race till the very end. It's not a sprint. So don't try to sprint. Don't try to just get there. It's not a project. It's not like, okay, let's get it done and buy in like it's done and I'm never going to have to face that sin again. It's like, no. It's a journey and it's a renewal of the mind. That's like God can easily change your situation, but sometimes he has you where you're at because he wants you to change your mind. Whoa, that's 
That's amazing. Because that's happening in my life right now, actually. That is crazy because that is happening in my life. Two things that I really recommend is um, feeding your mind with the truth, which is the word, just like your body. You know, the whole saying with you are what you eat. Well, if you continue feeding your body with great stuff, you eventually feel good. But if you just feed it junk food, eventually, I'm just telling you, no matter what kind of body type you have, you're gonna start accumulating those little lovey handles and unwanted fat. You are what you eat, so you are what you think. So start thinking positive, the God will. Start implementing the truth in your life, which is the word of God. So be in the word. Know what is the truth and the truth will set you free. So freeing your mind. So freeing your mind from false things like, you know, things people that have said to you in the past. Guilt is just one of those things that will control your life, keep you in that nasty cycle of I can't and I'm so bad. Know that Christ died for you and you are forgiven. Move on. <laughs> Love yourself. Forgive yourself and get rid of that guilt. Those negative thoughts that are holding you down that say you can't, you are born this way. You know, this is who you are. Just know that as long as you keep on trying that there's hope and there will be change and it's just about not giving up and you'll find it, I promise. With anything, as long as you're consistent with it, you will see results. Like invest time in the word. A matter of time, like you'll see that your mind is being shifted. The things that don't, that used to affect you don't affect you the same way and the people that affected you um, before don't, you know, get to you as much and you'll just see, be looking at life through a different pair of lenses. I just pray that you guys can just overcome, um, free yourself, you know, submerge yourself in the word and just remember that your thoughts control your life. All right, well, love you guys. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Till next time.